Lamar Jackson's back in the building for the Baltimore Ravens uh -huh, OTAs. Yeah. Sounds like they're going to have an offense where he gets to throw the ball a lot. That'll help the run game. I love where they're at right now, Pac. I can't wait to see it. Um, to me, uh, Lamar has to be able to run the ball to be successful. Um, if, you, if you think or if y'all think that he can go back there and throw the damn ball more than 30 times... 30 would be a shit Everybody. ton of times. 30, 30 yeah. would be a lot. If be you're a shit ton in of times. fucking trouble if he sit back Aaron's there and throw the ball 30 times. Aaron's 25, 28 times. Yep. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers can throw the ball anywhere on the field. No, but I'm saying he's throwing about 25, 28 times. I think that is a misconception about Aaron, is that Aaron only wants to air it out, and Aaron only cares about Aaron and everything like that. It's like, Aaron will do this mm -hmm. right here. Oh, yeah. He, he is not scared to do this. Takes what he gives. Because he knows exactly what's coming off of that, which is, boom, we are opening something up. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you give us one, we're taking it. But I think that type of balance is why Aaron has had so much success. Also why I don't think he's had, like, what, uh, um, 300. He's never thrown for over 5,000 5, yards. Yeah. I don't think he's ever thrown for 500 yards in a, in a game. game. Yeah, I don't think so either. I don't think he's ever done Maybe any Maybe close, of but yeah. Go ahead. So last year, uh, the the – most attempts per game was the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, uh, 45 a game. The okay, Baltimore Ravens were 28th in the league at 28 passing attempts per game. Yeah, so you're saying – so and I think like if he does 30 a game, I guess, with how many plays? or offense is getting more plays? That feels like a lot of – Yeah, it does. A bunch of 31st plays. in the league at 28 at passing attempts? That feels like – that feels like a lot. Pass right? happy league. That feels like a but, lot. It is, but my point is Lamar got to run. Like, Yeah, it, we agree. Uh – um, Patrick Mahomes. No, Roger? Jalen Rogers. Rogers, Rogers oh. don't have to run. Like, he have a running game. But Lamar have to run the ball, I'm saying himself, as far as that offense being. I think he knows that, right? He has to know that. Yeah, yeah. And passing the ball, having him on the run, you know, that helps. But also, J.K. Dobbins was rushing for, like, 120 yards on one leg last year. They have year. four running backs go down. Yeah, mm -hmm. before the season with the Gus Edwards. I think Lamar knows that the reason why Lamar is Lamar is because he can his do legs. things with his feet yes. that nobody else at his position can do. I think he is very happy, though. And we've never talked to him. No. No. Wish. Never. Hell of a negotiation by him, though. We had dots. We, did. we oh, definitely yeah. did. Dots. We had dots. I've never talked to him, but I would assume that he knows that he has to run. But also, if you have a passing game, that makes your running game a lot easier. Yeah. Like, that makes it a lot easier. I'm a hoping that they're able to tie it together. It sounds like Munkin's able to do it. As soon as he was hired up there, you were nervous as a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. It sounds like Lamar fucking loves him. I was. I mean, he's the offensive coordinator of a team that has won back-to-back -back national championships. Yeah, that's college versus Yeah, college NFL. ball has that fair catch inside of 25. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah, right. Right. Guess what else does now? What's that, pal? The NFL. And Munkin takes Also advantage. has that now. Yeah, I know, but there's a lot of other differences that we hope no, no, remain in there. I know, no. but Okay, let's not just have people fall over. <laughs> And then the play's dead. I agree. Nobody touches them. Yeah. Well, we learned that on second tackle attempts, after somebody's already touched the ground, that an injury to the shoulder is up 14%, and we believe that if once you touch the ground, you are down. There's a chance that that passes. Yeah. So everybody that isn't on our side about this fucking kickoff rule, there's a chance that some yep. some stat that they can throw in for future lawsuit mm -hmm. and that uh, negligence, I guess, is how they would be viewed mm -hmm. because right. we knew that this was a stat yep. and we chose not to make it. Like, what what, what all do we... Only need to get one Fuck foot down because they want to eliminate turf toe. Yeah. Speaking awesome. of turf, you know, seems yeah. like everything else is being talked about. Exactly. Is Except for the actual turf. Maybe that's why they're doing this. But Monken was an NFL coordinator who went to college and now back here. And, you know, a lot of the college stuff comes up to NFL and offensive coordinator things. He wasn't just an, a, a college all-offensive coordinator that decided to become an NFL offense coordinator and just runs jet sweeps all the time and stuff like that. Um, it ruins a football team. He's but talking I, yeah. about Matt Canada, the Pittsburgh Steelers. <laughs> yes. Offense coordinator still has the job. 31 in the league last year. Just like Ferentz's kid, 131st in the country. He mm -hmm. still has the job as well. Do believe Canada will develop? Not 100% sure about Iowa. <laughs> we shall see. Here's, the, uh, here's Lamar talking to the media afterwards about the offense and about what he's expecting. He's obviously just got paid a shit ton of money, but he sounds very refreshed about a new offensive system. I mean, just being able to throw the ball down the field. You know, we sometimes, sometimes, you know, we can't run and not going. Running can only take you so far. You know, and I feel like with, with this new era of uh, teams and offenses in the league, I, I feel like we need that. And Coach Todd Munkin, what I'm seeing his offense so far is looking tremendous. Do you feel like you're, um, you won't have to run as much, and that'll maybe be scaled back a little bit. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, especially with the receivers we have: Bay, OBJ, Zay, Dove, Pro. All those guys, you got Isaiah, the tight end. I can't say Zay. Isaiah, the tight end. Mark, my guy. Um, 
Oh, they have a new change, a nickname. Yeah. 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 Somebody's actual name. Yeah, yep. yeah. That's a that they're going through yeah, that right now. Seems like a problem. Isaiah seems like, a problem. Yep. seems like they're going through that right now <laughs> in the locker room. That's a hilarious thought. Yeah. That is happening in the cafeteria, in the locker room, yep. even in the meeting rooms. Yeah. Going to say, well, I can't say that anymore. Two heads looking at mm -hmm. you. We're going to say Zay. The Flyers. New Zay. Actually, his name's fucking actually. Yeah. Call him likely or something. Call this guy high, I guess. I don't know <laughs> sure. Yep. I don't know what we're but he talked about. He seemed to be genuinely pumped about it. Yeah. And I don't know if that necessarily means whenever he says yes, a lot less running, that he wants to run a lot less. But he also, from a business perspective, and we do not agree with this, but if he did view it this way, all the guys that last a long time, long time, to your point, they're uh, yeah. They're right in here. They're spinning. And he said Aaron doesn't have to run. Aaron's always been able to run, though. Yes. Which, if Lamar is able to be Lamar forever, which we assume he'll be able to, and he is able to figure out how to be or put in a position to be a prolific fucking sniper with... He's never had these weapons before. Exactly. Bingo. I mean, he just listed all his weapons off there. He's never had these weapons before. No offense to Hollywood, okay? Sure. He might go on to have an incredible career, and he was not happy with the offense they were running. I don't think they were necessarily put in a position to become an air raid-style offense. But if he slices and dices this year, and this is able to prolong this career that everybody kind of wondered about, what a time. He's got to be incredibly pumped. How recent was that twist? That was, those were tight. That was clean. They, they look like they just had got done this morning. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> he was pretty clean. That was very tight. Yeah, yeah that's what, he was really clean. That's why I watched. I was like, this guy went through a whole practice, has a beanie on. Yeah. He, I, look, he looked refreshed, though, man. We, we had a conversation. That's worth a couple hundred mil. Yeah, we yeah. had a conversation Bingo. back back in the back, and uh, we was talking about somebody um, on another team Okay. that was playing, and you was like, oh, he was going through some last year. Oh, like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Talk about uh, being a human. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah happy. If you're yeah. happy, yeah. do you win because you're happy, or are you happy because you win? Right. And if you're going through some off the field stuff, does that kind of take an entire weight off of your shoulders right. and make you live a little bit freer, a little bit lighter, a little bit more happy, which makes you work a little harder, probably be a little bit more relaxed in moments, dive in a little bit more. Yeah, I, I bet you there's a great relief that that yeah. couple hundred million dollar deal is done uh -huh. and now he just gets to go play. And for us, we don't have to judge every single week or even have the conversation of, yeah, I wouldn't. I mean, right. I haven't paid him. Got to get out of bounds. Guy's got two hundred million. You, you gonna try to run somebody off yeah. over right now? <laughs> Are you gonna take an extra hit right now? Because we've seen Lamar act like he's going out of bounds, <laughs> spin move on a guy. Mm -hmm. We are out of here. Touchdown. Mm -hmm. Last year it was a lot of he. Yeah. He. I'll take it easy. Now he had an injury. Right. So was mm -hmm. it that, or was it potentially? There's a lot of fucking money on the line here. Yeah, it's a business. Okay. Generation. There, there is a lot. We could have it's had this deal done beforehand. I've already won an MVP. Yeah. I've won a playoff game. This entire team is built around me. We could have this deal already fucking done and should have this deal done. But since we don't, I have to think like an actual human. So then that even leads into the conversation, the narrative to be built that he did that. We do not think he did that. No. We believe that Lamar Jackson is incredibly competitive. And if he stepped out, it's only because he thought it was the right decision mm -hmm. at that exact time. Right. He wasn't thinking business the entire time but you could certainly see how he would have thought about that so you're talking about maybe the best Lamar Jackson we've seen in an offense that he appears to love if he can throw the way other guys who have had these weapons in this type of offense have been able to throw they're going to have so much success for the long haul. Mm -hmm. This is the same exact conversation that kind of happened with Jalen before last year and I know Jalen's much younger but the entire convo was if Jalen can throw and Jalen can become an NFL elite passer. Mm. This Eagles team is going to win. Go. And if he can't, he's cut. Yeah, that was the Jalen isn't even on the team. Next anymore. QB. And we're, he just negotiated a massive deal, and mm -hmm. he's going to be the face of the Eagles for a long time. And they are awesome to watch, and he is incredible. But the reality is, going into last season, it was like, can this guy be an NFL passer? Can he do that? Mm -hmm. And he proved he absolutely could. I think Lamar has proved that he can put the ball where he wants it. Now he's going to have the opportunity to do it. They're going to be great. Oh, they, yeah. They're going to be great if they can. Tough division. Tough, Tough division. Tough Tough division. division. Hot, hot in the kitchen hot, in the AFC hot. North. But they're, you know, they paid him, but they're also listening to him. Like, was it last season or two seasons ago? Like, yeah, it's pretty hard to play quarterback when the other team knows exactly what the hell you're doing. And then they also said, okay, you know, go get me D Hop and OBJ. And allegedly, allegedly. 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 Mm -hmm. But they didn't get D Hop, got OBJ. And then what do they do with their first round pick? Yeah, we they don't go, know about D Hop. Yeah, have no idea. D Hop still could be on the table. Maybe that is something that they might do. But, 
He's got three first round picks at wide receiver this year. I mean, how many quarterbacks in the NFL have three first round picks in their receiving Ooh. core? You know, sounds like a lot of pressure. Not to mention Mark Andrews. Pressure? No, it's opportunity. Yeah. That's right. What Give are you talking everything. about? Sounds like pressure. Yeah, the NFL is he thrives under pressure. Yeah, there's 32 right. quarterbacks. We'll see. Also yeah. with Odell too. Like, I mean, we'll see how he is coming back from the ACL. But you know, like a lot of people, the knock on Lamar is like his deep ball accuracy is terrible. Like. He's never had a guy like Odell whose catch radius is everything massive. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And we'll see, like, because we don't know because he's been hurt, but he's the kind of guy where, like, you don't have to put it right over his shoulder into his hands. Like, you get it in his vicinity, he's going to give you a, a pretty good shot of going up and getting it. He's actually yeah. going to maybe get a historic shot mm-hmm. while making the catch. Yeah. His warm ups, I hope he's all the way back. He's saying he's feeling more healthy than he's ever felt. Mm-hmm. You know? Big deal. He said he's feeling better than he's ever felt. Because remember, that touchdown right there was with a, still a torn ACL. Because mm-hmm. he had an ACL surgery that was not it did not take. It was yep. a bad surgery. So he played the entire Rams season, and I guess the Browns season as well, at the beginning, before Odell Beckham Sr. hopped into Adobe. Right. I gotta get my son. Cut a video, put it on Instagram. Yeah, really gotta get him out Get my kid the fuck out of Cleveland, <laughs> yeah. please. We are sick of this. Mm-hmm. OBS really should have been up for at least some sort of Sports Emmy. Yeah, yeah. I hope he got a ring. Most influential video. Yeah. I mean, potentially Odell Beckham Sr.'s video <laughs> and cut up of Baker Mayfield refusing to throw the ball to Odell Beckham Jr. seemingly in the video. Right. Yes. Who knows how it was edited and doctored? We don't know what all yeah. OBS can do. OBS might have been turning the head. He could have been in the video. We yeah. don't know what all. He, who knows? Yeah. Probably was. Yeah. We don't know. He might be an animator for fucking South Park or Family Guy. True. We do not know what OBS is, but it, from the video we saw, mm-hmm. it was certainly means for them to want to get the fuck out of there. Yeah. He goes to LA, does what he does, has a touch on every single game. Going to be the Super Bowl MVP. Allegedly, his his ACL was torn that entire year. Yeah. While he was doing that all, and then it fully. Popped ripped apart in the Super Bowl after mm-hmm. already scored a tud. So this, if it is like the healthiest Odell Beckham Jr. has been, mentally it's probably the healthiest he's been as well. I'm excited to see him. I don't think anybody's expecting him to play 17 games. Though. No. Nobody is expecting nah. Odell Beckham. And I think that's a different part of his career too. Yeah. Where like normally he signs to a place. People are like, oh, great. Only going to get him for 10 games, 11 mm-hmm. games. Now it's almost like, hey, if these are – the important games. Yeah, I only need him for that. And at the end of the year in the playoff run, like, let's, okay. Yeah. We are cool with having him for 11 games because a lot of people miss games now. And what, for what Ty said, too, they got three first rounders. So he don't have to go out there and put all the miles on that Ferrari. 